This is a Sutotal production. Hello surveyors, uh, here is our second practice video for chapter 2. Um, so for this one, uh, we're utilizing the idea of molar mass. So, you know, what's a mole? What's grams? You know, grams is kind of our mass. A mole is, is like this quantity, right? It's, it's uh, almost exactly like when someone talks about a dozen, right? A dozen coincides to a very specific number, 12. Right, and so a mole works that way as well. It coincides to a very specific number. All right, and we'll talk more about that in the third practice video when we actually use Avogadro's number. But um, you know, you want to be able to look at the periodic table um, given any type of formula, right? And that's what a lot of these are. Um, and you want to be able to use that formula, use the correct numbers off the periodic table, and actually calculate molar mass, or even calculate. Uh, the number of moles from a mass, calculate the number of grams from moles, right? You want to be able to use this interchangeably. That's the great thing about molar mass. It, it brings together both masses and a specific number, okay? So here it says they want us to calculate the molar mass of sodium bromide, NaBr. So let me pull out my handy dandy periodic table, all right? So NaBr, so there's Na, right? And it the numbers we care about are these numbers below it. I'm going to take all of these numbers to two decimal places. I'm not writing all that. That's a lot. So NA is going to be 22.99. So we're looking at 22.99 plus. So that would be the sodium part. Now we need to take the bromine, the BR. All right. And the mass listed there is 79.50. So I'm going to use that number plus... 79.50 all right and i'm going to add those two numbers together 22.99 plus 79.5 and that's going to give me 102.49 so 102.49 now one thing you want to get used to here you you can't just give me a number right we got to have units right that's why we even have that whole set of unit conversions back in chapter one so it, here it does say use the correct unit so it's molar mass so mass is grams right and what this is really telling us is grams per mole all right so that's what we're looking at um, how do we read this it's saying the molar mass of sodium bromide in one mole of sodium bromide there's 102.49 grams or 102.49 grams is equivalent to one mole of the sodium bromide, all right? Okay, so next up we have Na, uh, Ni, NO3, all right? So this, you would read this as nickel nitrate. You'll learn more about that also, but this is nickel nitrate. So let's go and find our hand dandy periodic table. All right, so where's nickel? Nickel here is 58.65. plus the nitrogen, which is going to be 14. I'm just going to round that to 14. 14.01, I guess, is what I should do. And then we have three oxygens. So when I add it, I'm actually going to add it as three times the number of oxygens, which is going to be 15.999 or 16. I'm going to round that to 16. Okay. All right, so that's what I'm going to plug into my, my calculator. Love you, calculator. You make my life easier. So 58.65 plus 14.01 plus, and I'm going to do this in parentheses, 3 times 16, close those parentheses, enter 120.66. All right, and that's going to be also grams per mole, right? Molar mass is always grams per mole, grams per mole, grams per mole. All right, next up we have uh, this boron hydroxide compound it wants the molar mass of that so it's one boron and in parentheses you see this little three right after it so it means there's three of these OH's so there's three oxygens three hydrogens so let's go to our periodic table let's find our boron and our oxygen and our hydrogen alright so boron is right here 10.81 so I'm gonna say 10.81 plus now remember I've got three of these oxygens, so I'm going to say three times the oxygens, which I rounded to 16 before, plus three times the hydrogens, which is right over here, 1.01. 1 .01. All right, so what is that going to give me? 10.81 plus 
parentheses, 3 times 16 plus 3 times 1.01. Enter. All right, enter is 61.84 grams per mole. All right. All right, next up, it wants us to calculate the molar mass of CH2Cl2. All right, so we got carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine to concern ourselves with. So if we go to carbon up here, right, carbon's right here, 12.01. So we're going to say 12.01 plus the hydrogens. There's two of them, so it's going to be plus 2 times 1.01. And then we have two chlorines, so now it's going to be plus... 2 times the chlorine mass, which is 35.45, times 35.45. All right, so now let's see. What do we get when we do all that math? 12.01 plus 2 times 1.01 plus 2 times 35.45. We get 84.93. And yet again, units, grams per mole. All right, and then our last one on just calculating the molar mass, they give us AUI3. AU, that's gold. All right, so it's gold iodide. Um, now, technically, let's see, gold is all the way. Let me pull this up. All right, gold is right there, all right, third. So go down one, two, three, right? So you got copper, silver, gold. Gold is 196. 0.57 so that's 196.57 plus three of those iodides so it's gonna be three times the 126.9 all right and we're gonna plug that into our handy dandy calculator so what do we got here we've got 196.57 plus in parentheses three times the 126.9 that's a big one Ooh, that thing's large and in charge. That's a 577.27. And remember units, grams per mole. All right. So that's just, calc you know, that's just some practice using the periodic table to actually calculate your molar mass. Now these next questions, the next five questions, they kind of grow on that. So uh, here it says how many grams of nickel nitrate, NiNO3, are in 5.64 moles of nickel nitrate. Well, that's the whole point of getting that molar mass. So if we have 5.64 moles of nickel nitrate, we net, we've already calculated before the molar mass of nickel nitrate, right? And that's, so you can actually write this one of two ways, right? You can write it as 120.66 grams for every one mole, right? Like that. Or you can flip it, right? Because it's the same thing as saying, one mole over 120.66 grams right so those two fractions right these are this is all saying the same thing right so if we have the 5.64 moles of nickel nitrate when we go to multiply it by one of those two fractions i just showed you we want the one that's got the mole on the bottom right because one mole of nickel nitrate right that would cancel our moles there um, is equivalent to 120.66 grams of nickel nitrate. So what do we get there? We would get a final unit of grams of nickel nitrate, which is perfect. So we need to say 5.64 times the 120.66. And we get six, ooh, that's a lot. We get 680.52 grams of nickel nitrate all right so that would be the answer for number six number seven wants to know how many moles of the boron hydroxide are in 22.5 grams of boron tri the hydroxide all right so this gives us grams so 22.5 grams of boh3 all right, now we let's go back to the where we calculated its molar mass, right? This is grams per mole. So if we have grams, right, and we have the molar mass, we can, in fact, use this, right? And this is the same thing as what I showed you with the nickel nitrate, right? You can write the mole on top and the gram on bottom, 
where you can write the gram on top and the mole on bottom, right? So you can flip these back and forth. They're saying the same thing. So the for the boron, where's it at? Oh, that was 61.84 grams per mole. So we see that we're, we have a gram amount. So when I go and multiply it, let me bring it up some. When I go and multiply it by that, by the, the, the molar mass, what do I want on bottom? I want the grams, right, of the boron hydroxide. So that would be 61.84, right, is equivalent to one mole. So that would allow now, right, gram on top, gram on bottom, those would cancel. And so to get that, I just need to say 22.5 and now divide by the 61.84. And I get 0 0.36 moles of boron hydroxide. All right, so you can have less than a mole, okay? All right, uh, next up, it wants to know how many grams of CH2Cl2 are in 0.65 moles. So let's go find that molar mass we calculated before. It's right here, 84.93 grams per mole. So when I look at it, right, 84.93, I'm gonna have to multiply it to where I got mole up here. So that means I want moles on the bottom here. And so that would be one mole of that is equal to the mass of 84.93. Okay, and that allows my moles to cancel, and I'll get that the mass that it's asking for, the grams. So I need to take the 84.93, and I need to multiply it by 0.65. All right, and that gives me 55.20. Yeah, equals 55.20 grams of CH2Cl2. Right. Next up it says how many moles of NABR are in 181 grams? That's a lot of grams. Alright, so we have 181 grams of sodium bromide. Alright, now we can use that molar mass we calculated early on. That's 102.49. Alright, so when I look at the gram amount here, I need grams down there. So that means I need the 102.49 grams on the bottom and I need the one mole on the top. So if you look, right, one mole is that mass. So we can see right away, we've got more than, than that mass. So we definitely should have more than a mole. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to take the 181 and divide it by the 102. So 181 divided by 102.49, and that gives me 1.77 moles of NABR okay and our last one it wants to know how many grams of the gold iodide from before are in 1.76 moles of it so 1.76 moles of gold iodide all right we're going to multiply it by its molar mass we know that we need the one mole of the gold iodide on the bottom and we need the mass of gold iodide on top. I don't remember what it is so I gotta go back and look. Here we go. <laughs> A whole lot. 577.27. It's gonna be 577.27 grams. So the moles on bottom cancel. Everything looks good. So I need to take the 577 multiply it by the 1.76 577.27, enter, a lot, 1015.995, so I'm just going to round that to 1016, 1, alright, so that would be our, our answers, alright, so hopefully this helps, um, especially in terms of you getting used to using the periodic table, uh, it's going to be your best friend, so you want to make sure that you uh, use it well. All right. Adios, and until next time.